Peace and blessings, family. Peace and blessings. This is your brother, Sean Ali, here at Supreme Health and Fitness by Sean Ali. And as always, I thank each and every one of you for tuning in and giving me some of your valuable time. And as always, I pray that this brief message is received in the spirit that I'm striving to deliver it, which is the spirit of your brother, the spirit of love, and of course, and always spirit and in the name of God. Um, this is just a brief message on understanding our human energy and looking at the science of everything is energy. So when we are looking at the fact that everything is energy, that means life and death are simply frequencies of energy. So in 1992, a scientist by the name of Bruce Tanyo, he discovered or created the first frequency machine where we were able to look and, and measure the frequency that we are under. So in, in these measurements, he discovered that we can track from a healthy body to a diseased body all the way to a dead body. So now look, so when a healthy body comes in at 65 to 72 megahertz, average disease begins at the frequency of 58 to 60 megahertz. You got colds and flu. They begin at the frequency of 54 to 57 megahertz. You got cancer. Cancer develops at the frequency range of 42 megahertz. And you have death. Death comes in at 25 megahertz. So, when we are looking at everything is energy and we are looking at the frequencies of life and the frequencies of death in between these frequencies this is where you are either healthy or you are sick you are either uh, um on your journey to abundant life or you are on your path to your premature death so we have health a healthy body registers between 65 and 72 megahertz right and a megahertz is measuring in revolution a hertz is one revolution per second. A megahertz is one million revolutions per second. So when they are looking at the basic common denominator of your body, which is cells, see everything, but our bodies and life are based on motion. And these motions create a frequency. They create a vibration. They are registering on different levels. So when Bruce Tanio discovered or created his machine, it allowed us to measure and register the frequency. So a healthy body registers at 65 to 72 megahertz. This means that the cells in your body are rotating 72 million times per second to be considered healthy. So now, when your frequency lowers from 58 to 60, that's just five levels. The average disease, now your body is, is in a rotation that's slow enough for the average disease to start to affect you. And if your frequency drops lower, 
This is now when you're at that cold and flu stage. They call this the cold and flu season. This means that a person that is in or thinks that they have a cold or a flu, their energy, the cells in their bodies are registering at a frequency of 54 to 57 megahertz. This means that they have dropped at least 11, 9 to 11 levels of frequency. Now, cancer, anybody that's dealing with cancer. See, cancer, everything is energy. We are discovering and going over the fact that everything is energy. So now we can measure energy. We can register, register energy. So these are the energy levels of a healthy body and a dead body and the frequencies in between. This is what you call life and living in between. So cancer, cancer registers at 42 megahertz per second. This means in order for your, the cells in your body to develop cancer, to produce cancer, the energy level in your body has to be so low. Cancer is death. See, when you're looking at cancer, they call the cancer cell the immortal cell. See, your regular cells are mortal. They call the cancer cell the immortal cell because once it's developed, modern science does not know how to stop it because that immortal cell changes the chemistry and nature inside of your body and it causes your body to produce the enzymes that the cancer cell needs because your energy frequency is registering so low. So now, death comes in at 25 megahertz. This means that the cells in your body, they have to be deteriorate and slow down from a healthy body of 65 to 72 megahertz to 25 megahertz. At this low rate, listen to me, at this low frequency, the cells of your body, the atoms of your body, they cannot stay bonded together. So they start to lose their bond and break apart. And now when you look at the body that's registering at a state of death, See, you can't destroy energy. You can only transfer it or transform it. So when your frequency lowers to 25 megahertz, that energy that is you starts to transform and transfer from this state into that immaterial state. So when you start to look at the body, it starts to deteriorate. It starts to disintegrate, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. This, look, we have the science in book form, understanding our human energy, energy cycles and transformations for you to achieve abundant life. That's right, because listen to me, everything is energy. So you are either vibrating, at the energy frequency of health in life, or you are decreasing it. How do you decrease it? See, the number one cause is stress. The number one cause is your, how the, your perception and reception of you in your life. If you look at your life and you say to yourself, you are unsuccessful. If you look at your life and you say to my, yourself that I'm a failure, if you look at your life and you say I'm depressed, I'm mad, I'm full of fear, I'm angry, you decrease your energy level. It takes you from the frequency of health. And now, see, when you are depressed, you have a runny nose. Your sinuses are draining. You feel like you got a cold. See, when you are angry, these are the side effects of these frequencies. When you are fearful, you feel like you're sick. 
See, because your body frequency is lowering. When you eat the wrong food, it takes away from your frequency and it lowers your frequency. When you drink those sodas and those uh, manufactured and processed drinks and beverages, those energy drinks, they don't, they don't, they momentarily raise your energy with false uh, uh, material. But you will have a crash, and that crash will bring your frequency down. That's why once you it wears off, you feel so bad because your frequency is here at the average state of disease, or it becomes lower, and you start to get that sniffle and that uh, uh, congestion. And if you don't, we don't understand how to raise it. We will be on our path to premature death instead of being on our journey to abundant life. So here we have solution. In the book, we deal with how we lower it and we deal with how we raise it. So listen to me. Once you raise your frequency, just like lowering your frequency will cause your body to deteriorate and die, and transform into a state of death if you raise your frequency listen if we raise our frequency and we keep it and maintain it and sustain it at a frequency of light the same way that it deteriorates it repairs and restores and rejuvenates and it remains youthful listen you are not created to grow old you are created to stay young. You grow old according to how you live because life, life is no different than this cup. See, this is a jar of water. I have a slice of lemon and I have one of my hibiscus flowers in it. The, what I get out of this water can only contain what I put in it. So if this jar represents your life and you fill it with falsehoods, with make-believe, with fiction, with garbage food, with garbage water, with stress, then you will lower your frequency. And what you get out of it, you will start to be diseased. You will start to feel that cold and flu. You will develop your cancers. You will die. You will be on the path to your premature death instead of being on the journey to your abundant life. So here we have the science, understanding our human energy, energy cycles and transformations because you can't destroy energy. You can only transfer it or transform it. So when we understand the cycle, then we can understand how to purposely transform and keep our energy raised to the frequency of health, to the frequency of the light. But the choice is yours. There is no mystery God. There is no God in the sky with strings and pulling you. You have to not work out. You have to lead a sanitary lifestyle. You have to eat the foods that you already know are bad for you. You have to drink those juices and drinks that you already know are bad for you. You have to stress yourself out. So your frequency, when we are born, when we come out of the womb, we are already gifted with the frequency of life. Look at a baby. They All they do is laugh and be and they're strong and they pulling themselves up. See, when you come out of the womb, you are already gifted with the frequency of life. It's through our lifestyle that we lower our frequency and cause our premature death. But now we have the science and the solution so you can take that energy in the same way your lifestyle and your thoughts can decrease it, we can learn 
how to use our lifestyle and our thoughts to increase it. And now you become imbued with life. Mm. You start to look at yourself and you wake up and you look in the mirror and you're like, man, I look younger. Mm. Man, my hair is growing back. Woo, my skin is, is rejuvenating itself. The choice is yours, family. We have the science and the solution in understanding our human energy, energy cycles and transformation so that you and I can successfully enjoy our abundant life. <clears throat> Remember, everything is energy, including life and death. Life registers between 65 and 72 megahertz. As your energy starts to decrease, you will develop what you think are diseases and sicknesses, but these are just an imbalance. It just means your energy is so low that your body is telling you if you don't raise it, you're going to die. So when you get that sniffle, when you get that congestion, you're not sick. When you get that inflammation, you're not sick. That's your energy level lowering and your body is trying to communicate with you and to warn you to raise your energy because if you don't, you are on the path to your premature death. We just got to understand our human energy, energy cycles and transformation so that we can enjoy abundant life. Available now. You can find all this book and all of my books on Amazon.com, or you can find them directly from us. So, family, I thank you for giving me some of your valuable time, and I pray that this message was received in the spirit that I was striving to deliver, it, which is the spirit of your brother, the spirit of love, and of course, and always in the spirit and in the name of God, family, your love and your death is literally in your hand. So you have to be proactive and take control of the gift of life that God gave you. He gave you an awesome body that is designed and created to heal itself. All we got to do is the small things that keep our energy at life instead of decreasing into death. Family, thank you. I leave you as I came. Salam alaikum, hotel, black power. Power to the people, peace.